Welcome, dear ones. God bless you for coming. My name is Quinlet. I am a gospel minister. Since the death of our dear beloved minister Usinachi, I have added my voice to the issue of abuse in marriages and we are trending this agenda. We are going to save thousands, millions of people together and in the name of God, we will do it. We will do it. Yes, it is not by our power. It is not by our might. I want you to understand something from now to the end of this world, okay? There will always be light and darkness. But stars shine in darkness. Note this. Negative and positive is not something new. Let me touch on the previous video. So many questions came up. A lot of comments. I'll answer just few. Please. Let's get this when it comes to adoption. There are three types. One is called open adoption, semi-open adoption, and then close adoption. The open adoption is when there is contact between two parties, birth mother and adoptive uh, mother. There is a contact before the adoption and after the adoption. They can meet, they can write letters, exchange emails, have events together. That is the open one. And we have the semi-open. The semi-open, there is a contact, but that contact goes through an intermediate or a third party. That is how the semi-open is. And there is a close one. There is no contact. The only thing re re revealed to the adoptive parent is the medical condition of the birth mother. These are the types. There is also another type of adoption that even adults enjoy. They, some, some have wives, they have children, but they have adoptive parents. They support them. Adoption doesn't necessarily mean separation. The children can live at where they are and the adoptive parents will send their support. So please get this. Now, when it comes to talent, everybody has a talent. I have a talent, you have a talent. I sing, so definitely I'll get the attention of somebody who sings. And that is normal with every human being. Even Jesus in his disciples, he had some people that were very close to him. In life, we have choices. You, you love Eba, I love Samo, you love Fufu. You, I, I like rice, okay? Even when it comes to food, we have the type, we have choices when it comes to food. Marriage, you choose your wife, you choose your husband, you choose your friends. Let us also get this. It is not easy for somebody to come out and say, I want to help somebody. God must touch your heart. Otherwise, people in the neighborhood, people in the area, they would have gotten help from everybody because not everyone is rich. When we, we talk about rich and poor, a poor person is somebody who doesn't know God. But when it comes to needy in the sight of God, we are all needy. You need air to live. You need water to drink. That is why some of us, uh, uh, as believers, we even go to God with our prayer. Our heart desires. We bring our need before God and God answers us. So everybody is a needy. Both the rich and the one you call the poor. So if somebody says he or she wants to assist, assist sorry, assist somebody, it doesn't mean the person is, is poor. The person is needy. The family of that person cannot take care of them. This is a kind of mentality that is not healthy. Talent. We all have talent. You have talent, I have talent. Everybody has talent. Even if somebody cannot play football, you can train that person. If you get a coach, you can train that person to play football. So sometimes some people don't have, they are not talented in certain fields, but you can train them up to be talented over there. When it comes to talent, everybody has a talent. You have a talent, I have a talent. Talent is not in one person. That one too, please, we have to get it. Okay, I sing. So definitely, I'll, I'll get an attention for somebody who sings. And that is normal with everyone. Jesus did not call everybody to be his disciple. He selected some people. And this is choice. Let's note this. God bless you on this one. So I've been getting some messages concerning uh, this abuse form 
keep them coming keep your voice audios coming we are going to end this thing i have said it i am the voice to the voiceless by the mercies of god and by the end of this campaign this agenda women will not die in abusive marriage again men will not die in abusive marriage again by the help of god so the lady brought it out she sent me a message uh, and she said she, she's suggesting that we bring out a group to help people who are in uh, uh, abusive marriages with financial difficulties and for that reason they cannot come out in fact we have we, we have something like that already okay something similar it's not necessarily abusive marriages but we've been already assisting in some um, african countries assisting people with finances to do petty petty uh, job trading to to uh, help themselves in life so we will speak to our manager in abuja nigeria and we will start that thing over there too we will bring it here on this platform and we will announce it so if you, it gets to your state you get to know we are going to do that to help uh, men and women who are in abusive marriages but out because of financial difficulties they cannot come out of those marriages now please let us know this once again if i'm saying come out please we are not encouraging anybody to end his or her beautiful marriage this is not a yastic to, to make that decision and go and don't go and create abusive marriage some people can create that because they are already tired of their wives and their their husbands that's not what we are talking about they need variety of women that is not what we are talking about we are talking about abusive marriages i have two definitions for marriage i uh, sorry two types of marriages that's my definition the beautiful and the blessed one the ugly and the horrible one the horrible one is based on lies deception manipulation spiritual implications a, vi a very vital subject that I'm, I'm bringing across before you go out of an abusive marriage you have to be very careful because sometimes going out of that marriage is as worse as staying there some people face their death when they go out of abusive marriages you need to relocate because you you live in the area you want the man the woman to see that hey i'm fine even even after you left me you don't know what is going on through their mind and that is why you don't have to joke with that so the way sometimes you even go out of abusive marriage it is not even uh, uh, proper and some people die out of it you remember this issue that happened in in the u.s just some few years a pastor shot his own wife seven times a very beautiful lady when i talk about these things very beautiful lady 27 years old lady and the man was just 35 young family young couple building up their family how did it end that way The story was that the lady was in a very long time abusive marriage and she planned to leave. Like I'm saying, how you go out of it? We all saw some of the videos when it was on social media. The man went there whilst the lady's brother was there to threaten her that he will kill her. But I don't know how it's sometimes you know when people say things like that you think maybe they are in pain and they are saying things don't joke with that statement i'll kill you i'll do this i'll do this you need security when it happens that way don't work alone this woman was so vibrant she works at the bank and her her life was ended at age 27 we need to be extra careful how we go out of abusive marriages please push this message across share it subscribe to the channel queen lit music on facebook youtube instagram tiktok tiktok follow us and share because we have good messages for you messages that will heal your heart you listen to songs that will bring you out of problems we pray for you alongside we are not just standing here for standing here sick we have been assigned on whatever we are doing. And that is why I told you that the 
knowledgeable people and the wise people know 